Hi, and welcome to Three Questions With. Got my friend Don McGee with us. Hello, Don. Good afternoon. Welcome to the show. Hey, Kevin. How are you? I just live in the dream. So, Don, we're at the beginning of the year. So, you know, we got to talk about goals and resolutions. Now, I find people use these terms interchangeably, but they're really not the same, right? They're really not, it's at least in the way that I talk about them, right? A resolution could be something like, this is it. This is the year. I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to do it, right? Yep. What does that really mean, mm -hmm. right? So I love to teach my clients how to set SMART goals. Simple, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-based. So a SMART goal might be something like, for the next week, I am going to walk for 30 minutes a day or insert your time frame here. Yep. And I am going to drink 32 ounces of water before lunch, right? Um, and then you you see how you did. You evaluate if it's going great and you don't want to do anything different, keep going. But if you set something that's vague and vast, you may wake up on January 1st of next year feeling the same or maybe even a little bit worse than you do this year. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. You know, because like you said, a lot of us do that. I want to get healthier this year. Well, what does that mean? Don, I actually walked one day last year. You know, I mean, you know, okay, you know, if you never walked, I guess you've achieved your goal. So that's where, you know, and plus also being, you know, you mentioned realistic, you know, I think yeah. that's important too. You know, where you see people like, oh, you know, I'm going to lose whatever. Or I'm going to, you know, do this every day. And it's hard to go from doing nothing to, you know, being perfect. If you can figure out how to do that, we won't be doing any more videos, Don. You won't, we won't need each other. We'll be, we'll be billionaires, you know, and stuff. So, you know, but so that's important too, right? Making sure it's realistic. Absolutely. And, and I want to circle back to something you said about being perfect, because mm -hmm. I don't believe in perfection. I believe that we can constantly evolve and progress, yep. but I teach my clients 1% progress at a time. It's progress over perfection because every time you ask yourself for perfection, you're really just setting yourself up for failure because no gosh, that's no fun, right? Yeah. 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 Like you said, they'd be like, oh, you know, I'm never going to eat a French fry again. You know, that's probably not going to happen in my lifetime, <laughs> to be honest. You know, unless they start producing them or something, that's the only chance of that and stuff. But so, and you don't have to, right? Yeah. By all means, just balance. I think that you, you mentioned that a lot. And I think that's important, you know, is balance. You know, there's going to be times when you're going to want to indulge, you know, whether it's a special event or, you know, just, you know, hey, it's it's Saturday. I just want to go out and have fun. You know, I mean, right. there's nothing wrong with that. It's it's accepting what you're doing and understanding you get back on track. Sure. And it's just a choice you're making, right? I have to, if you're not getting the results you want, then you may have to make different choices. Maybe you have a few less celebrations or <laughs> maybe, maybe you redefine your con concept of a celebration. Maybe it's not all about food and drink. Maybe it's about the company you keep or a great game you guys are playing or a great conversation you're having. Cause, cause we can have fun without food or without it being all about food. I know that not everybody agrees with that, but it's true. Yeah. No, it definitely is. Like you said, you know, I mean, but again, a lot of people associate it with food and drink, unfortunately, yeah. you know, hey, it's it's Dawn's birthday, you know, we're going out for dinner, or we're going to get cake. It's not, hey, it's Dawn's birthday. Let's have an amazing conversation with Dawn, you know, what I mean, right. it's not where people's mind goes and stuff. So, so now, as you get into the new year, what are some of the challenging you're, you're seeing your clients face? It's it's the getting back the mindset into the focus for being taken care of themselves. Um, and it, and I think we all face that, right? You know, it, where there are so many holidays strung together between October and January. It's really easy to throw up your hands and say, eh, I'll see you back on January 1st. Yep. And that's, that's actually why we run January challenges, right? We're doing a jump into January starting the 23rd so that people can do that. They can get support, they can have coaching, and they can figure out, to your point, one of the very first things we do is teach people how to set goals and how to how to instill the habits that they want. How you know, it's a skill to create a new habit. 
it's not magic. No, definitely. So what's the best way for people to reach out there? How can they learn more, Don? I would say go ahead and jump uh, to my Facebook page, Don McGee, Nutrition Evangelist, or my website, dawnmcgee.guru. Don, I appreciate you taking a couple minutes to call into the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Thanks, Kevin.